Hey guys, Colorado Dave here, just doing another quick knife video. Um, I'm gonna be looking to sell a couple knives here. I'm only looking at five knives that I have left that I wanna sell. Those of you that have been following me are aware that I've been selling them over the last two to three weeks, and I've sold off probably close to about 30 knives. I do have a couple left that are very special to me that I have made a decision that I am gonna sell, and I'm gonna show them to you here today. I'm gonna show them for a few hours here this afternoon and that's pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna take them off right away because if they don't sell, I'm gonna keep them in my collection. Um, I got mixed feelings on them because they're very nice knives that are close to me. Um, but on the other hand, I really am trying to raise some money and I could use the uh, sale. So if I can get my price for them or real close to them, then uh, that's what we're gonna do here today. Uh, what I need you to do if you have interest in any of these knives that you see is look at my email below down here. It's M as in Mary, F as in Frank, G as in George, dot, D as in David, P as in Paul, A as in Apple, Y as in Yo-Yo, N as in Nancy, E as in Eric, at gmail.com. So total, I'll say that one more time, is mfg dot dpain at gmail.com. So that's where I want you guys to email me. If you're the first one to email me on any of these knives saying that, yes, I want it, then I need your PayPal information, need your full name and uh, mailing address, and the knife is yours. Um, but like I said, I'm only going to have this up for today, for part of today. Um, that's it. It's going to be a real quick, quick in and quick out. I've done about four of these now, and I've sold quite a few knives doing it this way. It's worked out really well for me as far as the format. And I've basically just offered out what I have available at the, that day. And I went ahead and uh, have sold off almost everything I have at this point. So it has worked out pretty well. Um, so if you are interested, please do uh, get a hold of me sooner than later, as uh, I don't plan on all these knives sticking around. All right, let's get started here. Like I said, I have five knives only. Where should we start? Let's start with the um, Benchmade 940. This is the uh, Osborne, which was my first Benchmade 940 Osborne ever. This is the Blade HQ exclusive, and this is done in the G10 with the jade color, and it has the M4 black coated blade on it. I want $200 for it. It's $195 brand new. This is an exclusive. You can no longer get this knife. As far as I'm concerned, it's the best looking 940 they've ever made. Um, I have everything in the box that comes with it. Um, it has the cloth pouch. It has the, the microfiber cloth pouch. Um, it has all the original tags, etc. Um, beautiful knife, guys. Beautiful, beautiful knife. If I don't sell it, I am totally okay with that. $200, I think, is a very fair price considering they were $195 new. And I have one that is in excellent condition. Perfectly centered down the middle. Great, great action. Not good. Great, great action. Um, and then the one thing I have done to this knife is if you're, do you, if you're buying this strictly as a collector's knife, you might not want this one because I did put my edge on it. It has a mirrored edge that I did with a, my KME on it. It's a beautiful edge, but uh, that's because I wanted to make it a user. Um, I didn't really use it. I babied it, but uh, it does have an edge on it that's gorgeous, but, uh, but it will take away from the uh, factory edge, just FYI. But uh, for most people, I don't think that's going to matter. But anyway, um, beautiful, beautiful knife with excellent action. That is the Benchmade 940 Osborne. That's the Blade HQ exclusive in the G10 with the jade handle in the M4 steel for the blade with the black Cerakote uh, coating. Excuse me, whatever I'm trying to spit out there. So again, that's the Benchmade, and that is $200 email. Email me at the mfg.dpain at gmail.com if you have any interest at all. Next knife we're going to look at here is going to be our Medford Smooth Criminal. This is our button lock, and this is going to be done in the S35VN. And I do have all the paperwork and birth card and all that good stuff. I'm asking $230. In addition, I'm throwing in an extra clip because I have an extra clip that's a brand new clip for it. Um, never been used. And that clip, so you guys can see it, is right there. And that is a Medford clip that says Medford on it with its logo and everything, with the screws, etc. You do have the birth date on this card somewhere in here. Sorry, guys, we're not give it out yet. Let's get that birthday card out there. There we go. Sorry, guys. February 12, 2021 um, is the um, 
certificate of creation, I guess is what they call it, and authenticity. And that is from Medford Knife and Tools. Um, you also get this sleek little pouch that comes with the knife, which is very, very nice, very practical. It's nice if you're throwing it in a backpack, throwing it in your car, whatever you're doing with it. And this is a great knife for that. Um, and then you have your knife right here, guys. It's a beautiful knife. This is the Smooth Criminal done in the uh, anodized uh, blue. This is the anodized blue. This uh, These are aluminum handles. Uh, this knife is unbelievably sturdy and dur durable feeling. It's got a real rock solid feel to it. It's not real heavy because of the fact you have the aluminum handles versus um, doing full titanium. Um, the blade itself is hand ground, which is, just makes for a gorgeous, gorgeous blade. Um, I did go ahead and put an edge on there, so it does have a KME edge on there. And it has made it really, really sharp and really, really slicey. Um, and then the action on this one is phenomenal. Really, really, really good action on this one, guys. That's the clip that's on it. It does have a scratch in it. That's why I have the extra clip. It's um, I had called Medford on it when I got the knife. They went ahead and sent me out another clip. I never switched it over. I just kept this one on there. But uh, you do have a brand new clip for this, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, that's the knife. That is going to go for $230. Brand new on that one is $290. And I'm asking $230 for it. So pretty damn good deal because this knife's basically brand new. So that is the Medford. Let's get that one out of the way. What do we got next? Oh, this is another one that I just absolutely love. And I will probably get one again someday if I don't sell it. I am probably just fine and okay with that. And this is my Spider Co. And this is the Drunken. And the Drunken is basically the one that's done in the S90V. That is a stone wash slash polish finish that it has on it that I guess is very, very difficult to put on a uh, to put on a knife blade. And uh, they've done a great, great job with it because it's gorgeous. I'll take it out of the bag here in a minute. But it does come in this beautiful pouch. This is the way it comes from the factory. It does not come in a box. It just comes in the pouch. Um, and then here's the uh, information that came with it. What else is unique about mine is I had actually gotten one delivered out to me. The blade itself had some uh, blemishes in it and uh, wasn't uh, what the blade wasn't perfect. And so I have a note in here with it that I'm going to send with the knife. And this is basically from the guys I bought it from, which is uh, Deadwood uh, Knives, who are just an awesome group of guys, by the way. They had bought 10 of these knives. I had called him up because I had bought in the first one, I guess, that they had gotten in on these. Explained my situation. He said, he's like, dude, I'm going to make it right. He's like, here's what I'm going to do. When I get off the phone with you, I'm going to look at the other nine we still have in house. I'm going to find the one with the best blade on it. And I'm going to pick hand pick it out for you and send it back out to you. He had it in my hands in two days. And I can tell you that this blade is perfect. Because um, I guess with this stone wash, when they do this finish with the stone wash, sometimes they do get small blemishes and little, uh, and little silver marks in it. This one does not seem to have that at all. And so it's like the perfect specimen of the blade. It's just, it's just in really, really, really good shape. I just spit on it, so don't mind me, guys. But... Um, the blade's in great shape. This is basically a brand new knife, guys. This knife's been nothing but babied, and, and it, I've had it in my pocket around the house a few times. That's about it. But this is basically a brand new knife. I paid $441 from DLT Trading, and I am only asking $375 for this knife, which is very difficult for me to do. There is absolutely, positively nothing wrong with this knife. This knife is a perfect specimen of the best and finest spider co that I've ever held in my hand ever. Again, if I wasn't trying to raise money right now, this is something that would stay in my permanent collection forever. I'll probably end up getting another one at some point in the future. But for now, again, trying to raise a little bit of cash. This one can hopefully help me get there. Uh, hopefully you guys can help me get there. Uh, $375, more than fair. Um, that's what I got. Let me know. Get back to me at that... Uh, Email address below if you guys are interested. Let's go on to the next one. This is another one. I didn't think I'd ever put it up for sale, but I guess the reason I put it up for sale is they do have them out there. They're going to eventually run out of these. They're not going to be around forever. Um, this is out of my whole ZT collection, which I think I had a total of nine ZTs. Um, this is the one I held on to that I did not get rid of. And I decided I was going to keep in my collection out of everything else that I had. I've made a decision because of my Chris Reeve knives to get rid of this. 
It was either this or give up one of my Chris Reeve knives, and I did not want to give up one of my Chris Reeve knives. So in that breath, I'm making a decision to give up the ZT, which means I will have no more ZTs in my collection, at least temporarily. Um, this 0562 Ti, which is the titanium version, is just a fantastic knife. Um, this is a hard one to give up, guys, to even think about giving up. I just put a fresh edge on it literally last night. So this has, this has a brand new screaming edge on it. Um, I'd had an edge on it that, that was screaming already and I went ahead and uh, put it back on my KME and, and just, you know, just put a hell of an edge on this thing. So this thing's ready to go. It's got an awesome deep carry clip to it. This is the Hinderer slicer blade. This is uh Rick Hinderer design, um, basically off the, um, MX-18. So it's, it's just a beautiful knife, gorgeous knife. I don't know what to tell you. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, 245 bucks. Um, well worth every penny of it. I know they run 280 new. Um, this one's better than new as far as I'm concerned because the action is phenomenal. It is perfectly centered, perfectly centered. And it just has great, 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 great action. It really is there. You're not going to be disappointed in this knife. Not in any way. 245. All right. The last one. And I brought my price down on this because I had this up for sale before. And that's just because I don't have a purpose for it and I need to sell it. But it's a brand new knife, basically, that's in phenomenal shape. Um, this is the Spyderco Ikuchi. And this goes for 140 new. This is basically a brand new knife. Um, I'm only asking $95 for it. So that should be a really, really good value to the right person that's looking for one. Um, I would potentially make a deal with this if you bought one of the other knives. I would throw this in at a little bit cheaper price. And we could work something out that way if you took more than one. So I would be interested in doing something like that potentially as well. So that's all I got, guys. That's the five knives. I'm going to keep them up for, we'll say, maybe five hours. And then I will be done with this sale. But uh, I'm hoping to sell a couple more. If not, they're going to stay in my collection. But I'm gonna, I took one more shot at basically putting them out there and uh, seeing if somebody wanted these last couple knives. I've never shown the um, ZT before. And I've never shown the Drunken before. So both of those are new as far as showing those to try to sell them. So that's where I'm at, guys. Let me know your thoughts. For now, Colorado Dave signing off.